Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So uh, this is the next video uh, in interview question and answer. Uh, so we in last uh, uh, video we have covered till uh, 21 questions. Now we will uh, look ahead on on the interview questions. So next question uh, can be what is data model or define data model or explain pivot there, there can be a two two questions in that i have club both of them together so what exactly the data model is so the data model are most commonly used for creating a hierarchical model of data so we can create a hierarchical model data however it can also be used when you have a large amount of unstructured data so you can create a data model when there is unstructured data and, and a huge amount of data is there. It also helps you to make use of information without using complicated search. So how can you use it? You can use it through pivot. I will explain how pivot work. So regarding the uh, data model, the, uh, there can be a question how you can create a data model and uh, what are the main things of data model. So first, when you create a data model, you need to uh, uh, create a root event or root search. So under it, it will be a root event or root search will be your, your you can say parent, uh, parent search. Under that, you can create a child uh, transaction or child searches accordingly. So this is a, a brief about it and and the fields and everything will be inherited from the for the child one it's inherited from the parent or 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 from the root event or root searches so this is about uh, data model and uh, uh, there can be a different question like explain a pivot pivot when can we use a pivot when uh, a user does not have much experience on uh, search query languages he want to get the data uh, in in tabular format uh, to make uh, it pivot a similar uh, kind of a, a, in in excel you use pivot so here also the concept is same so pivot uh, so pivot we, we can use in congestion with uh, with the data model so when you create a data model there will be a data set uh, will be created and, uh, and 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 the pivot pivot we apply on the data set so the exact definition of uh, pivot is pivot are used to create the front view of your output and then choose the uh, proper filter for a better view of these output okay so you just just uh, you if, if you have seen uh, pivot uh, uh, from data model uh, if you go to uh, data sets if you go to explore there will be a way there will be an option of visible pivot so it will direct you to the pivot with respect to that data set so from there there are a bunch of uh, bunch of uh, fields uh, will be there and then and, and the combination of field uh, like if you want to get the count uh, count of some value by some value so you can do that as well so uh, moving ahead, uh, both options are beneficial, which I explained earlier. L let me let me go back to the previous. Uh, uh, let me uh, read it again. Uh, pivot are used to create the front view of your output and then choose the proper filter for a better view of uh, these output. Both options are beneficial for the people from a semi-technical or, or non-technical background. So this is the uh, pure definition of uh, pivot. So let's move to the next question. Defining a defined search factor. So search factor determines the number of data maintained by the index cluster. Okay. So it determines the number of searchable copies available in the bucket. So this is a search factor and the replication factor determines the number of copies maintained by the cluster as well as the number of copies that each site has. So one is searchable and then another one is uh, uh, searchable copies deployed on the, 
on the different sites okay this is the difference between the search factor and uh, replication factor so the next uh, question what are buckets and explain the bucket life cycle so bucket is nothing but a directory where the data gets gets uh, uh, stored so whenever the whenever uh, the data comes into uh, to the index it uh, first comes uh, in the hot bucket and after some time it goes to a warm bu bucket and then as as time uh, pass it, it will go to cold bucket and then then uh, a frozen bucket so these are four types of bucket uh, so uh, in simple word bucket are the directory where the data get stored according to index each index has multiple buckets so the bucket life cycle will be first the data come to hot bucket then it goes to warm then it goes to cold and and finally it goes to frozen frozen bucket uh, is nothing but uh, if you haven't defined any any uh, frozen path to data so data will get deleted if you defined any path so data will get archived on that end directory and you can again re recall that data and frozen data is not searchable data so this is all about bucket so the next uh, question is what is lookup so lookups are uh, nothing but if you want to enrich your data or or your event with external external event external file so you can do it through lookup it's kind of a uh, uh, it's kind of a, a join between your data in on the index and the external resources external source as in csv file so if you have uh, and and there should be some common uh, common field between common value between your data and and, and that particular uh, csv so uh, on that basis you can find a uh, common common value and you can enrich your event with that external uh, external data for example uh, if you have event uh, if your employee data which has employee id so in your event you you have you have employee age name or or some other details and but you do not have uh, uh, some additional detail like uh, address pin code city so what you can do is you can create a, a csv file uh, up, uh, and 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 through lookup uh, you can find in in csv file you mention the employee id and and uh, uh, and city and whatever data you want to enrich over there so through that uh, there there will be common common uh, key is employee id and then through that you can uh, enrich your file and once you do that the other details will come according uh, in your events so this is this is about lookups so what all what are the lookup commands so there are uh, multiple lookups commands are there uh, first is uh, input lookup uh, the input lookup is used to read the data from the lookup okay or or you want to merge uh, already lookup file over over there so you can uh, do that there is output lookup if you want to write the data into uh, in, into the lookup so output lookup use uh, will be used and and also the lookup command is there only single lookup if you if you uh, type lookup so lookup command is also there it also used uh, to enrich the data uh, from external sources so these are mostly three commands are there so what are the meta the next question is 27th question is what are the meta uh, or default fields for an event in splunk so whenever the data get ingested uh, there will be a meta fields uh, are there by default fields are there those are source host and source type 
so sometimes we keep it as index as well but 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 the three are main uh, meta meta uh, data or meta fields are, are there so keep in mind these uh, three or you can say fourth one as well but if you do not select any any of the uh, these three uh, parameters so it will come as by default source uh, source type will always be the file name or or uh, the the uh, what you can say is file name plus uh, uh, the OS name or if it's a window it will come as a window and the, the source will be the full path full path of uh, that file which you are going to monitor and uh, host is uh, uh, from where the data is coming and index uh, by default it's a main if you are not uh, given any so this is all about meta fields or uh, default fields so troubleshooting issues so whenever any issue comes in how you are going to troubleshoot or or they can ask it uh, tell me how can you troubleshoot if any issue is there or in in past you have faced any issue so how you how you have troubleshooted so most of the uh, things most of the uh, things you can check process related things or some other things you can check it in Splunk D dot log so you can go it through backend as well as for, uh, to uh, front end so so in uh, backend the uh, file will be var uh, var log uh, Splunk home var log and uh, uh, if you want to check it on the uh, on the data so you can check always it in underscore uh, underscore internal uh, file so through that you can uh, search for search for error or any specific specific uh, 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 warning or anything you want to see you can uh, check it over over there uh, output uh, dot out or tcp output you can check that uh, things over there and you can find what is the exact uh, problem is so next one what is the field extraction and how can we achieve the field extraction so uh, generally we can we we uh, can see that there are uh, uh, there is a raw data uh, ingested and there is no field is extracted so uh, the field is very important in Splunk so to extract the field uh, means the field is nothing but a key key value pair which you uh, which you on, on 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 that basis you search the event okay so so if if uh, like say there is uh, in case there is a uh, uh, unstructured data is there so you need to through field extraction you can uh, convert the unstructured data into structure and you can perform your own uh, operations so field extraction is nothing nothing but you are assigning a key value pair to your data to form a search okay this is all about field extraction and how can you achieve that there are multiple ways of achieving it you can uh, go to field extraction manager or you can directly uh, directly go to events and from uh, from there you can go to actions and you can extract the fields and uh, as, as I mentioned you can go to field extraction manager as well and uh, also uh, there are multiple types of field extraction uh, search time or index time extraction so you can do it through prop.cons or tra transform.con so extraction can be done through that as well so next one is forwarding licenses forwarder licenses so Splunk, uh, uh, Splunk is not going to charge anything for, for forwarder licensing just whenever you assign assign a role of forwarder so you need to define the forwarder licensing over there so it is uh, uh, not chargeable uh, licensing so if this question come across uh, like 
with there any charges for licensing or how the licensing licensing works so it is free of cost uh, the forwarder licensing of free of cost uh, but whenever you assign any role uh, to any instance so you need to assign the uh, as a forwarder so you need to assign this uh, forwarder role to it so how you prevent the next question can be how you prevent event being indexed by uh, splunk so splunk always always uh, 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 maintain a fish bucket where it keeps the track of all the events so through that it can maintain it won't uh, uh, reassign or or uh, or reindex already indexed data so if you want to if if you see that there is any fault or any any problem in the data so if you want to reindex so what you need to do is you just clean your index by giving it uh, uh, through pipe pipe command whatever the uh, data is there pipe command uh, uh, put delete at the end so it will delete the data then clear the fish bucket fish bucket uh, and then restart uh, your index your forwarder as well as indexer so uh, whenever the new data will come uh, whenever the splunk get started the data will get uh, reinjected with the new values or new new things okay